What's up YouTube? My name is Amosboro. For this video, I thought we would do something a little bit interesting, and that is, and I pretty much I think I made a video about this in the past, but because I've really started focusing on collecting um, imports, I thought we would um, look at what is known as the CETRO, Computer Entertainment Ratings Organization Rating System, and some of the warnings that you may find on your games if you were to uh, start importing. The first thing we need to establish is Seto is essentially the Japanese equivalent to the ESRB. Seto stands for Computer Entertainment Ratings Organization. Kind of like how the ESRB here is Electronic Software Ratings Board. Every game that comes out in Japan now gets one of these ratings. Kind of like here in the US. Even PC games. PC also has a different rating system in Japan. We're going to focus more on the um, on console games. Well, in Japan they use basically a five letter s system. It goes literally from A to Z. It goes A, B, C, D, Z. Five letters. I have four examples for the PS Vita here of games from four of the letter categories. I'm going to show you <coughs> the rating I'm going to explain the equivalent of it here, and then I'm also going to show you on the back of the boxes any triggers or warnings um, that the game has. One thing I'm also going to explain to you is, or at least I'm going to try, is to explain to you what each warning is, so you'll know not to get freaked out. Ready? Let's go. So the, the first rating is obviously A because it's also the first letter of the alphabet. This one, this particular game is Dragon Quest Builders. It is rated A by Setter. As such, if you look on the back of the box, there are no warnings. It can be played by anyone of all ages. It is essentially <clears throat> a uh, all ages game. It is for everyone. Okay? So you don't have to worry about trying to decipher what the hell any warnings would be on the box. Now it's going to get fun though. From this point forward, all games have some kind of a warning. But you, depending on the game, you may or may not have to worry about that. This is, we're going to put in a number three, or music three rather. It is rated, if you look in the lower left corner, B. Now what does the B mean? Well, let's take a look at the back. If you see, there are two warnings. The one on the very left means the following. It means love and romance. The one on the right actually means sexual relations. You pretty much don't have to worry about much with these games. And by the way, I think all the VVN games are rated that also. But you pretty much don't have to worry about anything super duper graphic. Just maybe some cute fluff every now and then. And no smut. So. The next one is C. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Um, in case anybody's wondering, a B rating in Japan essentially is the equivalent of the E10 rating here. So it's pretty much everyone 10 and up. This is where it gets fun though. This is Dramatical Murder Recoded. It has a C rating. All right. So why does it have that? Well, let's look at the back of the box here. If we take a look here, 
Now, I can't give you all of them because some of them I'm not sure what they mean, but we have violence, sexual relations, uh, duh, 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 language, and drug use. Those are four that I know for sure. So, those are a couple good reasons why the game is rated 15 up. Oh, and the, fa the fact that this is a BL game, that kind of will, you know, skeeve some people out, but you never know. They may still want to try out the game. I did, and I actually own another game which is in the C category, which is... <clears throat> Actually, I own a couple. One is Galk in Heaven. Two, Double Scramble. But that's what the C rating looks like. Now, a D rated game, you might think, has triggers all over the place or warnings. Well, I'm going to show you one that doesn't. <laughs> this game. This is Diabolic Lovers More Blood. And if we look on the lower left hand corner, it's rated D. Its warnings, as I will show you, are violence and sexual relations. There's also some other handy dandy things that go on within the Die Lovers series that's just right, really fucked up. So you can kind of understand why the game gets the rating that it does. And you can tell, by the way, as we've gone, this is the cleanest game you could buy if you were trying to buy one for a youngin. You're still right here. But here is where we start getting tricky when we get into the C. Because this is your D, this is your teen rated game, essentially. This is your M rated game, essentially. The only other rating, and I don't own a game like this, and I don't know if any came out for the Vita. But the only other rated game is a Z. And a Z essentially means 18 and up. Because the imagery in there is really disturbing. It kind of makes you wonder what this game would have had to do to get a Z, to be honest. Hell. Any die lover game, you kind of wonder what it would have to do to get a Z rating. Because the anime, if you bought a North American copy, is TV, is I think TVMA. Yeah, pretty fucked up, to be honest. Like I mentioned. But there you go. Those are, that's essentially what Setter is. I know I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've done a video like this in the past. But then again, I didn't own that many games in the past, really, to use for the rating system. And now that I actually am focusing more on importing, it's going to help you um, and me understand what we're looking at when we look at the back of our boxes and we sit there and go, so what the hell does a heart in the... And the male and female sex symbols mean? Well, that's what it means. By the way, I was thinking about this. Okay, this one, you have a male and female symbol, right? Alright, that one makes sense. This one, even though it's a BL game, and it is, do you notice they still use the same symbol? I was thinking about that. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But anywho. Uh, these are just, by the way, some of the games that I own in my import collection. I'm actually going to do a video at some point in the near future. Maybe I'll do it later today. Of some of the games that I own between <clears throat> my PS... I'll do my... PSP and my PS Vita, which is where the majority of them are. And besides, I can also show you more of the games that are rated. So, that is this video. And if you have any comments about it, by all means, share them with me, please. 
Y'all have a good night, and I shall talk to you in the next video. Later.